Welcome back to Afternoon Live. Our, our next guest spent her early childhood continually moving as her family followed mining opportunities in extremely remote areas. She shares these stories of her unusual upbringing and how they blend with her own transition into parenting in her new memoir, Metalwork, A Mining Daughter on Making Home. We welcome author Jessica E. Johnson. Hi, Jessica. Hi. You have a fascinating life. I am so glad you put it down on paper because I don't think most people would believe it. Thank you. Yes. So let's take us back to the beginning, your unusual childhood. T give us an overview of, of what your book is about. Well, uh, when my first child was born, you know, 13 years ago, I guess now, my mom sent me these two letters that she had written from mining camps when she was raising me and my brother. And uh, they were scenes of sometimes like optimism and adventure, but sometimes mm -hmm. um, real hardship. And that really made me start to wonder what I had experienced as a child that was sort of at the edges of my memory. Mm -hmm. And then also what, I, what ideas about motherhood I had inherited myself. So that kind of sent me on an investigation into more letters that she had written from that time and um, also more research into all the places that we lived and what our lives were like. And that story interweaves with um, my early parenthood here in Portland, mm -hmm. um, teaching full-time at PCC and raising my kids and kind of the typical pressures, I think, of of working, working motherhood. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so in your childhood, what do you remember back from those early days of in the camps? Well, I have some early memories of um, being like two and three and living, particularly when we lived outside of Granite, Oregon. Okay. I have memories of um, there being a tent and there being a trailer and there being a cabin and really the whole world revolving around men. There were just so few other women and there were like almost no other children that I can remember. So I can remember it being very, very isolating and lonely. Mm -hmm. And what was your mom's role at the camp? Um, it depended on which camp we were at. Sometimes there was one camp in Southern <laughs> Idaho where she had to cook meals for everyone who worked there. Um, so our, our daily schedule revolved around that. And in some of the camps, she would go into and out of town and buy parts and things like that. But often just keeping us going like with laundry and supplies and stuff took an incredible amount of labor because town was really far away. Um, sometimes there was no running water, so laundry had to be done by hand and things like that. And then do you know how long you would be at each camp before you'd have to just move over and start again? We had no way of seeing that coming. Um, sometimes it would just be a few months and then other times it would stretch on into a year or more at some of these places. Yeah, and you yeah. have a particular story you mentioned in your book about granite Oregon and mm -hmm. the difficult conditions there. Tell me a little more mm -hmm. about that. Uh, the, I, so there were a few different places where we lived in granite. Um, so at one point we were in a trailer and then in another point we were in a cabin um, in the trailer. I think while we were waiting for the cabin to be built, it was winter and really cold. And in one of my mom's memories, or one of her letters rather, she describes um, the pipes being frozen for like 23 hours a day. So the heat would be on full blast. And then the pipes would unfreeze just for an hour, which would be maybe long wow. enough. And she had, um, you know, little, little kids. So maybe there would be time to bathe and yeah. get enough water for cooking. So and how has your childhood and your experiences affected you as a parent when you became a parent for the first time? Um, well, I realized I had a lot of fear mm -hmm. <laughs> of, of parenthood uh, based on some of the things that I experienced. Some of those memories, I think, were lodged really, really deep. Mm -hmm. And so I, I had kind of inherited this idea of motherhood as as self-sacrifice because I had seen what my mom went through. Mm -hmm. um, and I had to rethink what aspects of motherhood I wanted to keep mm -hmm. in which 
what, what I want, what, how I wanted to rewrite that story for myself and my own children. Yes, and living such a nomadic lifestyle, did it cause you to then want to really establish roots or yeah. not? Yeah, and yes, to really want to establish roots and also to be really focused on community. My parents were very, um, uh, interested in like individualism and adventure and my values are a lot more oriented around building community mm -hmm. across particularly among people from many different walks of life so that's it, a value I hold and what is your relationship with your parents now uh, it's it's close they Good. they are in town a lot of the time here and they help me um, with with my own kids who they are close to so um, we, we are still close. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, you have such interesting stories in your book. I hope people take the chance to, to check it out. Yeah. It is called Metal Work, A Mining Daughter on Making Home. Again, author Jessica Johnson. And she has a book signing tonight at Powell's on West Burnside at 7 p.m. We'll have the details posted on our website. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be back with more Afternoon Live right after this.